Lainey Wilson and Nate Smith are two of the most exciting and biggest rising stars in country music right now. And we're so excited because they're right here in our live music space at Absolute Radio Country. We're going to do a little thing that very common in Nashville, but we don't often get the joy of it in the UK. And that is a good old fashioned songwriters Ooh. round. So we are excited to have you guys here. Welcome along. Glad to be here. Thank you. So this songwriters round thing, we talk about it a lot. On, on the radio, we try and kind of tell people the experience yeah. of what that's like. But um, as an artist, Lainey, yeah. tell us about it. What is it? Well, first of all, I'll say it's, it's one of my favorite kinds of ways of performing. You know, I feel like this kind of takes you back up to the roots of a song. Mm. You get to sit here and run your mouth for a few minutes about why you wrote it and where the idea came from and, you know, kind of give the inside scoop. And Nate Smith, first time in the UK, welcome. Hey, thank you. This is pretty exciting. All right, so let's start with you. Uh, so Shoot. we, f- yeah, no, it's tag. you. It's you. We're going to start with you um, because your song "Whiskey on You" uh, f- for a lot of us, it just like came out of the trap. We were like, "Where did this come from?" And it was absolutely huge. But how did this song come about? Um, well, the, the truth is, uh, I, w- I was dating someone for a little bit, and we broke up. And I was a little bitter. I had a writers' retreat two days after that, um, and, and wrote the song from there. So it kind of just flowed out out of that experience and um it's kind of one of those songs that that at least for me it feels like it's getting to the other side of a heartbreak it's that like anthem like hey i got this i'm gonna go live my life and that kind of thing and that's really what i feel like it's doing for people so yeah oh great well would you do us the honor of playing it for us come on i wasted a paycheck on whiskey and long hits Ever since you left trying to figure this out This jack I've been drinking's been wasted on thinking Now I got a new reason for throwing them down Line them up, pull them tall It's to us happily, never after all You ain't gonna waste one more night missing one of you back No, I ain't gonna cry another tear in this glass You didn't waste any time finding somebody new So I ain't gonna waste another drop of whiskey on you No, I ain't To help with the lonely and the why don't you want me Bartender pull me a farewell round Line them up, make them strong Tell the band that I need me a drinking song Yeah, ain't gonna waste one more night Missing one of you back No, I ain't gonna cry another tear in this glass You didn't waste any time finding somebody new So I ain't gonna waste another drop of whiskey on you No, I ain't gonna waste another drop of whiskey on you Gonna waste another drop of whiskey on you. Oh. Gonna waste another drop of whiskey on you. Line them up, pour them tall. It's to us happily, never after all. Yeah. Ain't gonna waste one more night missing one in your back. No, I ain't gonna cry another tear in this glass. You didn't waste any time finding somebody new. So I ain't gonna. Drop of whiskey on you. <laughs> yes. Woo! Appreciate it. Nate Smith and whiskey on you. That's the number one song, Nate. I guess, I guess so. Congratulations pretty, on that. Pretty crazy. Woo! Yeah, I'm pretty happy Huge. about that. So. Huge. Uh, speaking of number one songs, Lainey Wilson. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that first number one for you. Yeah. Uh, we talked about it when it happened, but you'd been working towards that for a long time, long right? time. slowly, slowly building. We're going to hear yeah. it in just a minute. It's things a man ought to know, but what was that like for you when you finally realized, yep, it's working. What, what Nate's experiencing right now? Yeah. I, and tell me if you feel this way too, but I feel like, you know, I've been like preparing for the race, 
then I finally entered it and just then was about to run it. So, I mean, I had been in Nashville for almost, like, it was 10 years and a month to the day when things that man ought to know went number one. It was something kind of along those lines, and it's true. They say it's a 10-year town, and you got to pay your dues, but that's just with anything in life, right? And when you moved there, uh, you were literally living, like, in a, a parking lot. Right. In a little and, camper trailer and yeah. a little 20 foot long uh, flagstaff bumper pool camper. I was and, known as the camper girl. <laughs> and do you still go past that? You must still occasionally. Yeah, you know, I do. You've been there, you go past. And yeah. d- does it still have a resonance for you? Um, you know what? The trailer is no longer there, uh, but mm. the pasture is still there. So if I need to get my trailer back out, we, we still got the pasture. <laughs> it's we always good it. to know. So this song that kind of took you to number one yep. for the first time, uh, Things a Man Ought to Know, is, is, this, is this a personal lived experience? experience how did this song come about for you actually i kind of wrote it into existence that so after this song i was like all right positive songs only um, <laughs> no you manifested it yeah yeah oh, no, in, the, okay. in the wrong kind of way right um no i knew it was going to happen but this song is really just about having good character it's not about whether you can do all those things changing a tire catching a fish shooting a shotgun i mean like you can YouTube all that stuff. This is about being a good person. This is about, you know, not just things that a man ought to know. It's something that we all need to know. And I feel like my parents made dang sure that I knew how to treat people when I left the house. Not everybody gets that lesson yep. in life, you know. And uh, the great thing about art and, and this song is that it seems to resonate with people um, kind of across the divide. Yep. You know, people seem to be resonating with the song either because it's a lived experience for them or because people are thinking like, yeah, I need to, I need yeah, to do I need better. Yeah, I need to know that. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I've had people message me and be like, you ruined my marriage. I've had people say, you saved my marriage. I'm like, this song does it all. <laughs> all right, all well, one. this might ruin your marriage. It yeah. might save your marriage, but we're going to hear it now. trailer on a two-inch hitch I can shoot a shotgun and I can catch a fish And I can change a tire on the side of a road Yeah, I know a few things a man ought to know How to know when it's love How to stay And I can hang a picture same as I can take it down And how to keep it hidden when a heart gets broke Yeah, I know a few things a man ought to know Yeah, I know a few things a man ought to know. 
Yeah, I know a few things a man ought to know Yes! breathe out my nose but it came out things a man ought to know laney wilson first ever number one amazing laney hey you're starting to sound a little more country the more you hang out with me <laughs> yeah the longer we hang out <laughs> I know, the more out. southern i get i'll have to call my mama after I this know, she'll be so will. proud yeah. uh so nate uh who are your inspirations in country music who did you grow up listening to i started with um like garth brooks and elvis i know it's a little okay random, yeah but uh just I, I really tried to uh sound like elvis so i just drove my brother nuts on the yep. on the top bunk bed and tried doing that and I remember I had this like event when I was a kid where I was supposed to sing Jingle Bell Rock in the style of Elvis and I chickened out so I'm trying to redeem that still to this day so um, um, but honestly it started with country and then I just went on to rock for quite a while and, yeah. and like I, I grew up with like Blink-182 and like like some of these like punk pop bands and stuff like that and then I came back around and realized that I had a natural tendency to go towards storytelling and everything and it's really my friends that came around me like it sounds really country I'm like what do you mean like and that's what was coming out so uh, it's interesting, though, with the influences, because we're all listening to all different things mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. So, of course, some of this stuff's going to kind of wind its way in there. But then uh, a lot of people talk about how they just had a moment where they're like, actually, I'm just naturally drawn toward that. So it was the storytelling for you. Yeah. And the authenticity, like I was saying earlier, just like the just being able to be completely yourself at all times feels so good, you know. Uh, well, yes, we're, we're glad you're doing it. Yeah. It's working out for you, Nate. Man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you're going to play us another song, Wreckage. Tell us about this one. Man, this this is one of those songs. That's, I think I think like I, I love a story of, of of being rescued, you know. And mm -hmm. and in this case, it's the woman rescuing the man, you know, um, for the, for this song. And um, it just I don't know. It means a lot to me. And when we wrote it, it felt right. And uh, yeah. All right. Well, let's keep it, it simple. <laughs> I don't mean to be guarded I don't mean to be rude I don't mean to just shut you out It's just what I've been used to My heart got callous I don't want to make that excuse It's hard but you're worth it I just want to be good for you I'm a little damaged Damn you so good When everyone saw baggage You loved when no one could Laying in this bed beside you I don't have to hide away You see all the wreckage And it wrecks me that you stay When I get lost in my own head You always tell me the truth and Girl, you find me right where I am You're the one thing I can't lose Baby, you're my hero I ain't scared to say that out loud You're teaching me to trust again Erasing all my doubt yeah. I'm a little damaged Damn you so good When everyone saw package You love when no one could Laying in this bed beside you I don't have to hide away You see all the wreckage And it wrecks me that you stay Damn you so good 
Everyone saw baggage you loved when no one could, yeah. Laying in this bed beside you, I don't have to hide away. You see all the wreckage, yeah. You see all the wreckage. It wrecks me that you stay. And it wrecks me that you stay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. It's Wreckage, Nate Smith here at the Songwriters Round at Absolute Radio Country. Uh, Lainey Wilson, Bell Bottom Country. Bell Bottom Country. So uh, it's a work of art, not just musical, but also you've started a whole new fashion trend as well. Bell Bottoms are so. back, back, back. They should have never went out. <laughs> no, I'm not sure they did with you. Have no. you backed yourself into a corner? Or are you ever just like, oh, I'd like to wear some tight jeans? No, honestly, I, I never want to show my ankles. I'm good with this. I don't have to wear dresses. Like, you know. Uh, you like a truck. I do. I like you, will, you like a truck. Yeah. Oh, we, before we get to this, we should also mention congratulations on your CMA Awards. Thank you. I mean, six nominations, two wins. That Thank is you. phenomenal Thank you and very so much. well deserved. Big night. Uh, now, let's get back to these trucks. Okay. Let's All right, get because back. You're currently. Two songs Two, featuring Lainey Wilson, both of them featuring a truck yeah. in the top 10 yeah. over in the U.S. Yeah. <laughs> but they're yeah. actually nothing about a truck. Isn't that no, crazy? That's the thing. But, you know, it's funny because, uh, you know, non-country loving people say to me, like, well, country music is all about trucks yeah. and dogs. I'm like, no, it, uh, Lainey and Wilson. And then you're like, yeah, truck, Two truck, songs truck. about trucks. Uh, but no, I, I mean, know. truck is a metaphor, really. Yeah, it is. It is. Heart like a truck. I mean, that is... Um, you know, we wrote it during the pandemic. It's talking about embracing those scratches and the dents and the bumps along the way. And, uh, yeah, I think especially during that time, we all kind of learned how to have a heart like a truck. Mm, or you had to. Yeah. You had to. You had to figure it out. So, and the weight in the truck. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the song that I do with Hardy, I mean, that song right there to me is a really important song. Yeah. And I had to be a part of it. I mean, it talks about something that a lot of people don't want to talk about, but happens behind closed doors a lot. And, uh, yeah, and probably it. helps other people uh, just by dint of the fact of having art out there that talks about something that is so difficult to talk about or that a lot of people don't talk about. Yeah. Hopefully helps people talk about that stuff. I know. Yeah. My goal, you know, being a part of it, I wanted to make sure that people um, didn't feel alone if they had ever been through anything like that. And I wanted to make dang sure that the ones who were doing it felt haunted, uh, truly. And I mean, the song, it took me back to the 90s. It made me remember why I fell in love with the country music to begin with. It took me back to Thunder Rolls and Whiskey mm. Lullaby and Goodbye Earl. Yep. Nate Smith's nodding. Yeah, well, yeah, let's, yeah. Hear, let's hear the first uh, song about a truck okay. that, that you talked about. This is Heart Like a Truck. It's Lainey Wilson. I never stay in one place too long The dirt road singing me inside A song I gotta find a field I need to spin my wheels And I got a hankering for four white tires And I can't help it It's the way I'm wired Before you get too close Boy, you need to know I got a heart like a truck It's been drugged through the mud Runs on dreams in gasoline And that old highway holds a key It's got a left foot down when it's leaving Lord knows it's taking a hell of a beating A little bit of love is all that it's needed But as good as it is tough I got a heart like a truck There ain't no breaking when I throw it in drive Don't always keep it in between the lines If you're ready for a ride, pedal down, state of mind Boy, I tell you what, you better buckle up I got a heart like a truck It's been drunk through the mud Runs on dreams in gasoline And that old highway holds a key Leaving. Lord knows it's taking a hell of a beating A little bit of love is all that is needed But as good as it is tough I got a heart like a truck Go on to see if you can knock off 
off the dust, yeah Shine it up, rev it up, and let it run, yeah It gets a high riding off into the sun, yeah I got a heart like a truck It's being drug through the mud Runs on dreams in gasoline And that old highway holds a key It's got a left foot down when it's leaving Lord knows it's taking a hell of a beating A little bit of love is all that it's needed But it's good as it is tough I got a heart like a truck Like a truck, Lainey Wilson. Phenomenal, Lainey. Thank, Thank you so you. much for that. Uh, so, Nate, self titled debut album yeah. on the way. This is exciting. That's a big milestone for anybody, isn't it? The debut album. It is. That's the dream. Like, growing up, like, I get to do an album. Like, oh my gosh. So, this is a very, very big moment for me, you know. And uh, I'm, a lot of hard work went into this one and figuring out the right songs and all the writers that got involved with it. Production. I mean, a lot goes into this. Yeah, know? I can imagine. It's crazy. And what about some of your Nashville friends? Are you kind of a, feel a part of the community now? I do, I do. I mean, a lot of my friends um, tend to be uh, my writer, the writers that work with me and, and producers and stuff. But um, I've got a few that aren't involved either, and uh, we just try to hang out. And it's just we don't have a whole lot of time these days. So. <laughs> yeah, which is a great thing, right? You it's, feel bad because you're like, hey, where are you in town? Can you hang? And it's like not even in the realm of possibility, even for coffee for ten minutes. I don't even know how we're gonna do that, but. Yeah. Yeah, you could come to my house and maybe <laughs> drop me off some coffee if you want to. That'd be really cool. <laughs> <laughs> we can work it out. Well, that, you feels, know. that feels less like a friend and more like <laughs> yeah. a delivery service. Oh, well, yeah, sure. I know, that's fine. That awful? <laughs> uh, well, yeah. congratulations on the debut album. So it's coming out at the end of April. Is that right? April twenty eighth. That's right. We can't wait for it. And uh, we have a final song from you. It's it's going to be the new single, right? Um, well, we're we're still trying to figure out which one it's going to be. Okay. Uh, so it's not like decided just yet, but. All right, but it's but, in the realm of possibility. Okay, so sure. maybe we can vote on it, Lainey. Maybe we can want, vote. This okay. to be. <laughs> so, mighty mo, either one. I know. <laughs> and this is Better Boy, right? It's better Boy. Yeah. Tell us about this song. Um, this song got sent over to me um, by Taylor Phillips and Hardy, um, and um, they they wrote it, and I got this like work tape of them sitting next to a bus. You can hear the hum of the bus in there, and I just listened to it, and it was just like, oh my gosh, I felt so connected to this song, and. Um, I was just like, is there any way I could cut this? Like, they haven't done it. They didn't even do a demo of it yet and stuff. And they're like, it's yours. And so we just, we went ahead and did it. And I grabbed it. I didn't waste any time. We we cut the thing. And I, it's very, very, very special. And it's one of those songs where I'm actually preaching to myself the whole time. So that's really what it is. Yeah. So if I take my own advice, you know, once in a while, it might be a little better off. But Well, we're all like that. So yeah. let's hear it, please. Yeah. Thank you. You shine your truck up every Friday night Shake her dad's hand, look him in the eye Pick white flowers just to make her day When she asks you to go to church any given Sunday You better, boy, treat her like you're still trying to get a boy Love her with thoughtful letters, boy Kiss her in the rain Make her want to take your last name Talk about forever, boy When it's hell, go through it together, boy Be the answer to her mama's prayers Never let her think somewhere out there There's a better boy Hold her high heels when her dancing feet hurt When she sleeps over, let her sleep in your shirt When the stars align and the time is right Size up grandma's ring Work over time, drop every dime On a house with a front porch swing You better, boy Treat her like you're still trying to get a boy 
Love her with thoughtful letters, boy Kiss her in the rain Make her wanna take your last name Talk about forever, boy When the tale go through it together, boy Be the answer to her mama's prayers Never let her think somewhere out there There's a better boy She ain't the one that you wanna let go Yeah, take it from her heart, she broke You better, boy Treat her like you're still trying to get it, boy Love her with thoughtful letters, boy Kiss her in the rain Make her wanna take your last name Talk about forever, boy When it's hell, go through it together, boy be the answer to her mama's prayers Never let her think somewhere out there There's a better boy Oh, there's a better boy Applause! <laughs> <laughs> Better Boy, Nate Smith. I, I have a feeling that that's going to be one of those songs like Lainey was talking about earlier yeah. that both ends marriages and makes marriages. Yeah, yeah. It's one or the other. It's Michael Bray. Oh, thanks so much for that, Nate. We look yeah. forward to the debut album in April. Uh, so final song from you, Lainey yeah. Wilson. But just before we get there, uh, your old buddy Luke Combs is doing quite well for himself. And oh, my goodness. You've been out on the road with him, right? But you guys have known each other for a long time, right? We have. Yeah, he used to come over to my camper. and Did he? Yeah, I'd let him come over and, you know, eat my snacks and drink my cold drinks i remind him of that all the time i'm like remember when you used to come over to my place now it's time for me to eat your snacks and eat you know so he's the uh, snacks have gotten better i reckon the snacks have gotten a lot better yeah uh, what a nice thing though to um kind of come up together in that way you know yep. to artists kind of both with the dream in nashville filled with hundreds and thousands of dreams and it's then wild. to be able to not only watch each other but support each other as you kind of yeah. climb that ladder together i mean i knew he was going to do it the first time i laid eyes on him was at Ten Roof Revival on to Mumbry and I remember he was sitting on a on a church pew mm. and uh, doing a writer's round just like this and I remember going up and tapping him on the shoulder and being like I want to write with you this was like probably 2014 and uh, he had not even making a he had not even made a, a Nashville trip to write music just yet and he was like oh shoot I'll come back and we'll write so I was one of his first co-writes in town and um, we wrote this song together called Share If You Want To and he put it on his first EP before he got a record deal and now he's inviting me out on the road with him I'm like I'm glad you remember boy I'm glad you remember <laughs> do you ever think you'll do a duet together I hope so yeah that would be amazing we got to at some point in time it would make sense yeah that would be great yeah uh so your final song what's it going to be I want to do uh one call what's up originally done by four nine blondes why this one um well I put this one on my record this is a song that I have always done for years, and uh, me and my band, we kind of came up with our own little version of it. We put some some stank on it, you know? All right, good. Uh, <laughs> Lenny Wilson owns this one now. Well, 25 years in my life is still Trying to get up that great big hill of hope For a destination I realized quickly when I knew I should That the world was made up of a brotherhood of man For whatever that means And well I cry sometimes when lying in bed Just to get it all out what's in my I feel it a little peculiar And well, I wake up in the morning and I step outside And I take a deep breath and I get real high And I scream at the top of my lungs, what's going on? And I say, hey Oh, what's going on? 
He in his institution Oh, I pray Oh, my God, do I pray I pray every single day For revolution And well, I cry sometimes When lying in bed just to get it up What's in my head And I feel it A little peculiar fantastic way to end that was amazing laney wilson oh okay so that's it that's done thank you guys so much for coming in and doing this for us it's a real honor to have you here nate smith (laughs) laney wilson absolute radio country songwriters round will you both come back and see us next time you're in town done deal all right we're here deal